Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating the, the generalized likelihood ratio test. Specifically, we will look at the detection of DC level against white Gaussian noise using the GLRT, that is the generalized likelihood ratio test. So, given the models under null hypothesis, we have x of n is equal to w of n, where n is equal to 0 to n minus 1. Under the alternate hypothesis, x of n is equal to a DC level A plus W of n. Here the main problem is that both the DC level and the variance of the noise that is sigma square W simply written as sigma square is also unknown. Note that the noise component W of n follows a normal distribution with mean 0 and variance sigma square. Uh, the main point with this detection problem is that both the DC level and the noise power sigma square are unknown. So, how do we construct the likelihood ratio test? Generalized likelihood ratio test is defined as Lg of x is equal to the ratio of the probability distribution of the observation vector x given the maximum likelihood estimates of the unknown parameters a that is a hat and the sigma square sigma 1 square hat denotes the estimate of the variance under the alternate hypothesis H1. With the probability distribution of X, where we use the estimate of the variance under the null hypothesis. So, this is the likelihood ratio and we compare with it with a threshold gamma. So, this is the generalized likelihood ratio, where we use the maximum likelihood estimates in the place of unknown parameters. The key difference between the generalized likelihood ratio test and the normal Neyman Pearson test is that we basically know the parameters A and uh, the noise variance or noise power sigma square. So, now the goal becomes basically estimating these probability distributions. So, for the alternate hypothesis, we need to find the probability distribution of x with the estimates of unknown parameters A and sigma square. So, we here clearly a hat and the sigma 1 square hat are maximum likelihood estimates of the unknown parameters a and sigma square under the alternate hypothesis H1. We can actually estimate these values or we can actually construct the maximum likelihood estimates of these value of these parameters by simply maximizing the likelihood probability distribution that is argument maximize the unknown parameter for example a logarithm of probability distribution of x the parameters a and sigma square under the alternate hypothesis h1 so by maximizing this function we can determine the values of a or we can estimate the value unknown values a and sigma square so the probability distribution of x with the parameters a and sigma square can be written as so, the probability distribution under the alternate hypothesis is given by the product n equal to 0 to n minus 1, 1 by square root of 2 pi sigma square exponential of the observation x of n minus the DC level A whole square by 2 times sigma square. So, this is the probability distribution of x under H1. So, by maximizing this distribution or the logarithm of this probability distribution, we can determine the maximum likelihood estimates of this uh, parameters of these parameters a and sigma square. Note that this problem is already solved in a previous video where we have just maximized the logarithm of the probability distribution of x with the parameters a and sigma square and the results will be equal to a hat will be equal to the sample mean which is 1 by n summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n. That is the maximum likelihood estimate of the unknown parameter a. Maximum likelihood estimate of the parameter sigma square denoted as sigma 1 square hat is equal to 1 by n summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n minus x bar whole square where 
x bar is equal to the maximum likelihood estimate a hat. So, these two estimates now can be used in the probability distribution to construct the likelihood, likelihood probability distribution for the uh, observation vectors x under alternate hypothesis h1. Therefore, probability distribution of x under a hat using the MLE the maximum likelihood estimates a hat and sigma 1 square hat we have 1 by 2 pi sigma 1 square hat power n by 2. That is the normalizing constant multiplied by exponential of minus 1 by 2 times sigma 1 square hat multiplied by the sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n minus x bar squared, where x bar is basically replacing the unknown parameter a. We know that sigma 1 square hat is equal to mean square difference between x of n and x bar, which is nothing but n times this sum. Therefore, the likelihood probability distribution becomes exponential of minus 1 by 2 times sigma 1 square hat multiplied by n times sigma 1 square hat. Therefore, probability distribution of x with the estimates a hat and sigma 1 square hat under the alternate hypothesis is equal to the normalizing constant 2 pi sigma 1 square hat power n by 2 multiplied by exponential of minus n by 2. So, this is the numerator for the log for the generalized likelihood ratio test or generalized likelihood ratio. For the denominator that is for the probability distribution of x with the variance estimate under the null hypothesis H0 can be determined as follows. That is we have to maximize the probability distribution of x under null hypothesis. The logarithm of the probability distribution of x under null hypothesis, which can be written as probability of x sigma square under H0, which is equal to 1 by 2 times 2 pi sigma square naught power n by 2 multiplied by exponential of minus 1 by 2 sigma square summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square of n. Now, we can solve this optimization problem by simply equating the derivative of the log likelihood function with respect to sigma square to 0, which basically means the logarithm of the, the derivative of the logarithm of this function should be equal to 0. That is derivative with respect to sigma square of the logarithm which is minus n by 2 log of 2 pi sigma square minus sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of x square of n divided by 2 times sigma square 0. So, the derivative of the first term is clearly minus n by 2 times sigma square. The second term is minus of minus 1 by 2 times sigma power 4 multiplied by